Alright, so we're going to do the Rust node now. Um, the, so the Rust node is a very, very cool. Um, so let's just add a plane and a square cube. Um, now we're going to have to subdivide it to really bring out the Rust node effect. Uh, actually, that's a bit too much subverts. About that will do. Okay, so... And uh, let's put this to the renderer. And uh, let's put a diffuse on here, an octane diffuse, and a octane diffuse. And let's give her that nasty smoothing. Okay, and let's set up the camera. The camera is good here. That's good. Alright, so what is the rust? The rust is pretty much um, st uh, you're, you're merging two, obviously you're merging two materials together, but the way it does it, it follows this, the vertices, well that's what I've seen, please correct me if I'm wrong, it follows the vertices to your image. Now, I'm just going to quickly pause this and find two really nice, actually I think I do have them. I always forget that I have my own material library on me. So let's go to the, am I selecting the right one? Yep, I am. So, select your cube. And let's add a mix material. Connect that to the cube. And obviously gonna get rid of that smoothing soon. Alright, so we're gonna load a just just load two diffuse, very stock standard, and connect them up. Okay. Now before we go into the texturing, let's just see the work being done with just the diffuse mat. So just choose two random colors. And it's still smooth, don't I not know why. There we go. And in the mix, we're gonna add a octane rust. No, dirt, I mean, not the rust node, sorry. The dirt node, I call it rust for some reason. The dirt texture, but I call it rust. Connect that in the amounts. Okay, now, based to what I've seen, it f somehow follows the, sometimes the vertices, sometimes the, um, just how the mesh is made, I guess. So, let's put that to one. Detail, and put the detail up. Alright, so it's merging up. So it's nice. Uh, it's a cool edging effect for rust and stuff. So this is what this is what's happening. Let's get a more defined look. Uh, that's better. So obviously it merges both the mo both textures, but more. It like it blends the two without using what would be Photoshop or other editing features. Now let's put a more more better image in. So um, we'll have two grunge textures. You can use whatever your textures you want. Open and I'll go to my textures. Presets and textures, textures, 4K textures and let's just run up the random ones. Now, obviously, we have to UV wrap this, so don't worry about that. And let's load up the 4K textures 16. And that's obviously UV wrap this because that's what we have to do. Okay, so. Now that we have our two textures in, let's see what happens. So, with the strength, you can see that the texture here as you can see, with the rust, the strength is pretty much overtaking the original texture. It's seeping through like rust wood. Now you can put the radius up on how much you want to overtake it, so one would be pretty much non-existent, it's pretty much at the bottom. Then once you put that up, it'll go to the higher, higher, and higher until it pretty much overtakes the actual mesh. So this is extremely good for 
and you can invert it too. So this is pretty much good for rust, metal, metallic works. Um, it does some. It does work. Um, it works on how your mesh is made and everything. Apparently, with this one, it's following a. I think it's a. What's it called? A X. It's, it's following the Z axis on top. So, depending on how your mesh is made and placed, I guess that's how the rust or the the the, the dirt node affects it. So that is the dirt node. Um, thanks for watching, and let's do the next one, which is the glare and bloom. See you next time. Actually, yeah, see you next time.